Hello, 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 and welcome to the team creation tutorial of XBA. As you might have seen in the previous tutorials, we've shown you how to do the whole exchange flow of GCDP and GIP in the new systems of Opportunity Portal and experience.isec.org. But now you might be wondering, okay, so what do I do with my members or with the new members that I'm recruiting right now? So it's very important to make sure that all of them create an account in XBA and are able to be allocating inside the team so that they can start working towards the main outcome of each one of the teams to contribute to our 2015 goals. So I'm going to show you very quickly and easy how is it that we create these uh, teams. First of all, of course, we're going to go to experience.isec.org because Expa is the system which we use for our operations. So I'm already logged in. And because this is already working with real information, of course, because the launch was last week, then we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to create my own real team of course so that you guys can see it and of course it's gonna remain here I'm not gonna uh, remove it after so yes I go to my committee because then I can see all the teams that I am part of as you can see I'm part of the Isaac international team here is our PAI my team leader and then I'm over here and we have all these other teams that are connected with people from my network so these members that you can see here all the people that I work with my colleagues have their own team so I'm also I can also see them but um, the team that I want to create has members that are outside this network so first of all I'm gonna invite the new members that I want to put in my team so I'm gonna do my GSTs here so I'm gonna invite Angela and I'm gonna invite Arthur, which are my two team leaders. I'm going to start with them because they are my team leaders right now. So I already added them. That means that they are already in my network of people that I'm working with. So here is one. Here is the other one. So I'm going to go to add team because, of course, I didn't have them before. So I'm going to add it right now. So I'm going to change the name of my team. My team is going to be GST Talent Management 1415. Subtitle description, I can just edit that later. Start date, I'm gonna put today just to not make it complicated. And the end date, I don't know if they know this yet, but they're staying with me till the end of my term. <laughs> just kidding. So yes, that's gonna be. And then I already have my team. I want to add them as team members. But of course, to have a team member, you need to have a team leader. In this case, that's me. So position name, I'm gonna put AIVP. TM 1415 and I'm going to tag myself. It's very easy just like Facebook I am tagged so I already have this. I'm going to put the start date of my role as AIVP. Well yes AIVP I'm just going to put the real one. So 15 of July and this is going to go on until the end of the GST team role that I put when I created the team itself and then I'm going to add them putting the plus so here I create the new position name is going to be team leader of the lead project. I'm going to tag Angela because she's working on it and I'm going to put the same dates as the team itself. Perfect. And then I'm going to add Arthur as well because of course he's my other team leader. I'm just going to put TXP coaching and I tag him super quick same date so it's coherent done so they are there but of course they also have more people underneath them so I'm just gonna do one quick example and I'm gonna invite uh, Chia part of the lead team so I'm just gonna show you with one quick one she's already in my network and I'm gonna add her underneath Angela because she's part of the lead team lead team member to make it very obvious and I'm just gonna tag her here very quick there she is and I'm gonna put start date same one and date same one so yes of course if you needed to change the dates or anything you can do it after but all in all the team will start looking like this until it's complete I'm not gonna put everyone right now because they're like 11 so I don't wanna make this any longer but as you can see it's very simple you can do it yourself from an MC level we have the access to do it EBs and LC level also can do this because it's part of their permissions 
as team uh, leaders. So this is how you should be allocating all of your members in your entity. Make sure that all of them have their account in Expa and they are directly allocated. As you guys know, right now we don't have the TMP TLP opportunities to be uh, applying for so they can apply for a position and then immediately be allocated in the projects. But for now, you can do it yourself just by adding this. If something is wrong, you can remove it and then you will end up having all the teams as we have them here. So all the teams in the end are going to look like this inside your LC and inside uh, your whole entity. So very, very simple. Thank you very much. We hope that you understand it and we are looking forward for you guys to have everyone on the Expo system and everything looking beautiful. Thank you very much and have an amazing day.